What's up Xiaomi fans, Christian here, welcome back to All About Me, and this is the Mi 2K Gaming Monitor 27 inches Xiaomi's latest gaming monitor. It has a high refresh rate of 165Hz, it has an ultra clear picture with a maximum resolution of 2560 by 1440 Let's talk more about this, let's go! This monitor came with this heavy crate. Well, it's good, it's protected. And I like the way they box it. Uh, the only thing is that it's quite difficult to take it out, especially it's at the top. So I, I was having a hard time removing it from the box. I'm afraid it will, I will drop some of the stuff or even the monitor itself. But yeah, I managed to get, take it out. So let's uh, put this aside and we're gonna see what we can find into the box. Uh, we have the calibration report, which is provided by uh, Xiaomi's factory. The next, we have this plastic bag, which houses or which actually holds the uh, user manual. We also have the energy rating sticker. And we have the other cables as well. We have the power cable. Then we have the display port cable. We also have a USB cable. Then we also have the wall mount screws and the hex studs. Other than that, we have the base. And then we also have the stand. And underneath we have the monitor itself, the 27 inches monitor. Okay, so we're gonna install this. It seems it's pretty easy to install. You just have to put the base, put the stand on top of the base, and you don't need you don't need any tool. There is a screw which you can just lock it with your hand, and you can just tighten it easily. So without using any screwdriver or anything like that. So which is pretty cool. Okay, so that is pretty secured and then now we're gonna mount the monitor so again you don't need any tool to do that you just have to put the monitor on top or on the right spot of, of the uh, stand so it's gonna hold on the side and uh, it's gonna lock itself so which is pretty cool it's pretty amazing I love how it is designed All right, so just make sure that it is in place and you just lock it and there you go. So it is already secured. And one thing I like about this is it's free adjustment. So you can find the perfect viewing angle. So it comes with a rotating stand with adjustable height that supports wall mounting. So you can adjust it vertically or you can also tilt the monitor. You can have it in a portrait mode. You can also have it on a horizontal rotation. And best, best of all, you can remove the stand and wall mount the monitor itself. It is a flexible gaming monitor. And at the back, you'll see the Mi logo with a hidden heat dissipation design, which is behind the monitor stand. And also there are two USB ports and there is a 3.5 mm jack and more at the back you will see the power port you'll have two HDMI ports you'll have the display port and you'll have the USB port it also comes with a magnetic cover and at the bottom right you'll see the five buttons which has the power button and also the menu buttons Okay, so the screen itself, it has thin bezel from top and both sides, but at the bottom is slightly thicker. And for the on-screen display menu, it is quite straightforward. Xiaomi has laid it out quite well because it's uh, fairly easy to navigate. You can adjust the brightness, the contrast and all that, but it would depend on which uh, preset are you're on. Some of them will be locked. And for the PQ, you can change the response time, IMBC, and the sharpness. 
and there's also pro function which, which you can just like turn it on or turn off the HDR mode and also adaptive sync and there are presets for the smart mode so these are the presets that you have and you can also change the input source and for its settings you can change the language you have more information over here and unfortunately, I am on a MacBook Pro, which is running on M1, which is quite limited. And I also need to change my cable that's connecting from or the HDMI cable connecting from my laptop to the to the monitor because it does not support the 165 Hertz. So it, it is only capped at 60 Hertz. And more on its specs, this screen is 27 inches with a maximum resolution of 2560 by 1440 which is a 2k resolution and the visible area is 68.6 centimeters and the response time is one millisecond for imbc or the intelligent motion blur control but for the imbc to lower the perceived response time to one millisecond you need to work at 165 hertz and have a 165 frames per second pumped from the gpu and on paper, it has a 4 millisecond response rate, which is pretty much the best you can get out of a high resolution IPS panel. As a 4 millisecond response time is really fast to begin with, and only a handful of experienced gamers in fast paced titles would notice the minor ghosting that occurs at 4 milliseconds. And unfortunately, I'm not one of them. It has a high refresh rate of 165 Hz with a wide color gamut. And this 27 inch quad hd ips lcd panel is capable up to 400 nits brightness and 1000 is to 1 static contrast ratio based on paper and also complying with the vestas display hdr 400 standard and this monitor is also two certified for low blue light emission and it has a dedicated mode for it and its net weight is 6.53 kilograms. And I would like to test more this monitor. Unfortunately, I don't have the right equipment because I have I don't have the cable that connects to the uh, from co my computer to the monitor that supports 165 hertz. I have to upgrade my cable. And also, I'm on a Mac M1 processor, which is which has a limited number of games that can support um, the 165 hertz but uh, i'll do my best to test this and uh, stay tuned so let me know what you think in the comments below you can also uh, let me let me or you can also suggest what other games that we can test using my mac m1 so leave your comments down below i'm excited to read those comments and i'll see you on the next video